Let me show you how to build the second part of this insane scroll effect inspired by last year's Wix Studio and Pantone Color of the Year collection. Let's do it. In the previous video, we built this initial scroll intro, but now we'll be pulling everything together with a complete design and full scroll effects. Just a reminder, we will need advanced sizing, so hop into the top right menu, go to View, Sizing Preferences, and Advanced. Now, let's go ahead and put together the containers that are going to stay locked in place as we scroll down. To start, let's set up our title heading by adding a container to our section, docking it to the top, and adjusting the dimensions a little bit. Importantly, also set it to be sticky to the top and uncheck Keep in Front. Then simply add some text to it and stack it, and I'll add a big neon menu button in the corner. Then it's a pretty similar setup for the bottom container too. Add another container to the section and same dimensions too. But this will dock to the top with 80 view height and set the position sticky with also 80 view height offset and then go ahead and uncheck this. Then for the layout we're going to need a 2x1 with the left column being 1fr and the right as 256 pixels. Then I'm going to add a stack with a few elements on the left and some text and a line on the right and then one more line right across the top. Then last but not least, I'm going to click into our very innermost center container and duplicate it and drag it over to the cell beside it. We can then reduce that main background to 0% and then replace the image and the text. Then we can add in some padding so that this border we're adding is actually visible. Importantly, make sure to remove all of the animations we added to this container in the previous video. Then I'm just going to repeat this process for the rest of our five cells until we end up with something like this. Then grabbing our large outer container, we can duplicate that and relocate it to our fourth cell, and then again for the fifth cell too. Just make sure that both are set to position sticky, as they should already be, and ensure that the bottom container is positioned on top of the middle container, which is positioned on top of our top container. Once you've gone ahead and added in content for those, it'll look something like this. Back up top, we have a few animations to make. First, our heading will have a fade in with these settings. And then our bottom will have a very similar fade in with slightly different settings. The four containers around the center will all have move in animations with the ones on the left moving at 90 degrees and the close ones moving 20 view width with the far ones moving 40 view width. On the right, we're just gonna switch it around to 270 degrees and do the same thing with 20 view width for the close one and 40 view width for the far one. And there we go, a super modern animation that will work for pretty much any sort of e-commerce or product website. Want to see more of these? Check out another tutorial.